say them tears ago, my life be like yo Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side, oh why Sätt ett ur rör på det få mig och dö för dig baby Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. I'm super excited to be back with another I Love tutorial for guys today. For today's video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved this look right here using the brand new ColourPop Cosmetics Hocus Pocus palette. So perfect in time for the Halloween season. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So this is the palette right here. I absolutely love it. Hocus Pocus was one of my favorite movies growing up during Halloween. It totally is just a Halloween vibe and I love that this is a Halloween palette but these are very wearable. These are very fall forward colors. So beautiful, beautiful palette. So first thing I'm doing is priming my lid. I like to prime with concealer and then set it in place with some translucent powder. For this look, I am using two separate transition colors. First one I'm going into is this one right here. It is definitely a more cool toned, berry, really light blush color. I don't really know how to describe it, but it is just to give me a light wash in the crease. And this is going to be perfect because the shade that we're going to go into next is going to blend right into it. So I'm going into this one right here. And this one is a little bit darker, so I am just applying this right in my crease and blending it into that first shade. And I absolutely love how these two just blended seamlessly together. Next up, I'm grabbing my angled brush and I'm going into this dark berry shade right here. And I'm just going to be applying a line of definition all the way from the inner to the outer corner. And I am just following the natural curve of my eyelid. So I am just kind of going with the natural shape of my eye. And I like to apply it above my crease line to give myself a little bit more lid space and then I'm going into my small tapered brush and that darker transition color that we use the second one and I'm just going in left and right motions over top of that line to diffuse it we are going to be redoing the same exact two steps and I'll show you guys in the next clip but that is how I like to build my gradient very very slowly slowly building depth in the crease so I'm going back into that berry shade with my angled brush reapplying that line and then going back into my small tapered brush doing the same exact step this time it's a lot more pigmented it's a lot more blended so if you want to have a really intense deep crease but you want it to be nice and blended and super precise highly recommend just repeating the steps and that's really going to give you the best result next up i'm going into this shade right here and it is more of a pressed glitter consistency but it also has metallic flex in it it's really hard to explain but it's definitely a really unique formula um, like I did in my last tutorial, I applied the majority of this pigment with my finger and then to get closer to that crease area, I used my brush for a little bit more precision. And then I'm going into this glitterly obsessed body glitter and these are not recommended to be used around the eye. So that's just a warning, but I love using them on my eyes. But I have to give that warning because if you have sensitive eyes, it might not um react too well with you but i love using the glitterly obsessed glitters on my eyelids so i'll leave all the products that i'm mentioning in today's video linked down below but i just grabbed an even smaller tapered brush and that dark berry shade and i just applied that to my outer corner and then i'm applying my shop sophie bella bahama lashes and these are 50 percent off they are only ten dollars right now so if you guys want to get your hands on these they are going really really quick link will be in the description box down below i applied my urban decay double life liner in my waterline and then i'm just applying the same shades that we applied in our upper crease to my lower lash line so first that darker transition color 
and then next that berry shade with this really flat defined brush just to help us get as close to those lower lashes as possible and then I am blending those two shades together with my smudger brush Next, I'm going into my Fenty Full Frontal Mascara and I'm just coating my lower lashes. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm grabbing my Pixi Highlight and I did accidentally get mascara on my nose, but I did wait till it dried all the way and then took it off. So if you see that in that lower clip right there, that was an accident. But yeah, this is the finished look right here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to check out my vlog channel for lifestyle content. I'm also going to be doing some get ready with me's a little bit more in-depth videos and just more personable videos. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave my videos linked in the end screen. And I'll also link my channel in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!